what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'll show you how i made this one sleeve dress so let's get started so first you fold your fabric into four places like this and then you have four layers and the next thing is to take your desired length so for mine i've measured 47 inches and then i added two inches for seam allowance so you can measure your desired length. And the next thing is to take your shoulder measurement. So I'll be taking seven and a half. So you measure your shoulder measurement and then divide it by two. So I have 15 inches and then I've divided it into two and I have seven and a half. So I'll use eight and a half for the armhole. You can use nine for yours. And then I'll take my bust measurement. You divide your bust by four. I have nine inch. I'm, I'm not going to add any allowance because it's a stretchy fabric. And then for the waist measurement, I used 16 inch inches. And then on the waist, you take your Waist measurement divided by four. I have eight and a half. For the hip measurement, I use 23 inches. So you divide your hip by four. I have ten and a half. For the bottom, I'm going to minus one from my hip measurement. So I use 10 and a half for the hip. For the bottom, I'll be using nine and a half. So I've marked it here like this. On the armhole, I used one inch to make a curved, a curved line here. And then I'll cut on the marked line. So after cutting, this is what you have. The next is to come to the shoulder measurement. You take one inch, sorry, half an inch down. And then you make a slant line here. And then we take the neck measurement. I'll use three inches for the neck. For the neckline, I use three inches for the width and then I use two inches for the depth and then I cut off the half an inch slant on this side on the shoulder side so the next thing is to open your pieces like this with the right sides facing each other you're going to draw a line a curved line like this from the neckline you're going to draw a line like this down to the armhole you're gonna draw a line and then you're gonna cut across this line like this so after cutting you're going to cut facing for the front piece so I've taken a piece of my leftover fabric and then I'll place my front piece like this because I want this sleeveless part to be on my right hand side so I've placed this front piece on these pieces and then I'll cut across, I'll cut it across the same side as the front piece. So you go over to your sewing machine, you sew across the neckline like this. I've pinned mine, so you go over and sew. For the back piece, you just go ahead and fold it and sew it like this. You sew the neckline, you sew it round to the end. For the sleeves, I folded my fabric into two because I'm cutting just one sleeve. So I folded my fabric into two and then I measured the length of the sleeve. I'm using 22 inches. So I've added two inch extra for allowance, for seam allowance. And for the armhole, I'll be using, I'll use five inches. 
and then I'll draw the line from here this blank line from here down to this point and then for the wrist area I'm going to have elastic so you measure around your wrist whatever you have you divide it by two I have four and a half because my around my wrist is nine inches so I'm using half of that and then I'll add extra three for allowance because I'm going to be adding elastic and then I'll draw the line down from this place down to this place and then you cut across the line and you notch the so here's the sleeve and then you notch the middle like this so I've gone ahead to turn the front piece with the facing and this is what I have and then I've folded the neck of the back piece like this and then the next thing is to join the shoulders together with the right sides facing each other you join the shoulders together like this you go ahead and sew it together after joining the shoulders together you take your sleeve you get the notched part of your sleeve with the right sides facing each other you pin it to the midpoint of the shoulder and then you pin it together and then you pin it around the sleeve so i've joined the sleeves to the dress and i did a little bit of pleating on the shoulder side i pleated it like four or five times and then the next thing is to join the sides of the dress with the right sides facing each other and the arm all together you pin it and then you sew the sides of the dress after sewing the sides of the dress you try your dress on before you hem your dress for the sleeves, you just hem it and then you leave a tiny space for your elastic. Leave about one inch to insert your elastic. And then you, you, I've measured my elastic. I'm using nine inches long. You just slide it over to, to the casing. And then I'm just going to tie the elastic because I'm using tiny elastic. So I'll tie it together and then close my opening with my sewing machine. So here's the one sleeve dress. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you for watching, thank you.